back to the first taste of pro action tonight? How did it feel just to be out there and uh, with the team? Yeah, it's a good experience. I mean, there's definitely an adjustment and uh, a higher pace to the to the professional game, and um, you know, to get the first one out of the way and uh, you know, kind of get that learning experience and know where you have to go in the future to to compete at this level is it's really good to you know hone that and and learn from that. So, um, you know, obviously not the not the best effort from our group, but. Uh, fortunately, it's preseason, so we can learn from that and, and get ready for Friday. You're playing on the line with Eddie Matsushima and Traps Hauer, a couple of veterans in, in uh, pro hockey. So what was it like playing on the line with them tonight? Yeah, it was good. I mean, they bring a lot of energy to the game. I think, you know, everyone's seen first shift, how he, how he drops the gloves and has a big scrap against, you know, one of, the, one of their biggest guys, too, and does really well. So that, that kind of sets the tone for our line. And, uh, you know, Eddie works hard. He's got a, he's got a really fast motor, and he's, he's always going. So... Uh, if I can just, you know, match those guys' pace and, uh, you know, play alongside them, that's that's what I'll try to do. Obviously, um, a lot of these guys haven't played together, and you have a new coach coming in. Uh, so, what were you guys able to take away from training camp this week, and then from tonight leading into the regular season? Yeah, I think you know we worked a lot on implementing our systems, whether it's D zone or or four check or whatnot. And uh, you know, tonight was a perfect time to to try to implement that. And you know, we'll uh, we'll be learning a lot through video and and more reps in practice this week. And uh, you know, ultimately get ready for the for the regular season, and um, you know, get the mistakes out of the way this week, and clean everything up for next week. Walk us through your second period goal. Yeah, I think uh, you know, Lopes won the faceoff and uh, passed over to Heinze, and a rebound, rebound kicked out, and you know, big Judd in in front of that goalie. I don't think he's seen much, so uh, luckily it blooped over over his head and went in. For a lot of you guys getting this first taste of action here, this first taste of the rivalry here, heading into the opener next Friday against the same team, what does it show that you may need to work on or need to focus on as you get ready for when the games do count? I think just uh, sorting ourselves out, you know, all over the ice, whether it's being more connected in the neutral zone and, uh, you know, establishing our forecheck more than more than we did tonight. And, um, you know, there's there's going to be definitely some, some learning opportunities this week. And uh, I think there's going to be a lot more energy from – our group uh, come Friday, and uh, it's going to show when you know we're we're forechecking really hard and uh, you know winning our 50-50 puck battles, and you know that's what it's going to take to to beat a team like Ontario. Matt, it was the warm up, the, the lone preseason game. What did you see from your group that you uh, want to take into this week and into the opener on Friday? Um, it's it's hard, uh, you know, when the score gets like that, you know, to to go in and, and dive into to all of it. Um, you know, thought the effort was there really all the way. Um, so much learning is, is available for us in this game, um, you know, from you know, st style of play and uh, decision making, um, you know, for us as coaches, being able to evaluate players and uh, for management to do the same. Um, I think there was, you know, a, a lot of opportunity for us to learn. And, you know, this is a, a great time of year to take advantage of that. It's pretty much what looked like going to be their roster for, for Friday and for the first couple of times you see them. Are these lessons for, for your group, your, your coaching staff to take from to kind of pick up on their tendencies early on uh, as you get ready for the regular season? Yeah, I think we're going to see a lot of Ontario through the season just as the way it goes. But, yeah, uh, gets us ahead, you know, as far as uh, for, for next week. I think Friday's going to come pretty fast. Um, you know, and being just one step more familiar with your opponent, you know, I think uh, goes a long way for us. Um, you know, and then getting uh, a, a great week of practice to build build moving forward. Anything you picked up on that you do want to work on this week? I know you got to go back and digest a lot, but uh, anything that you've kind of picked up on, like here's what we want to do? Yeah, plenty. Um, I think first thing is uh, be able to, if there's some movement going on, you know, that has, we rested uh, quite a few guys today, um, and get our team together. That's probably step one. Uh, step two is, you know, be able to dive into the film and see, you know, where we think we can get better. I thought there was a lot of good moments in the game. Um, you know, I, I think that there's certainly some stuff that we can clean up. Um, really easy decision making some of our line changes choices some of our puck play decisions you know that gives up some of their big moments but um yeah we'll, we'll, we won't leave a stone unturned on our way to learn Justin helped create that first goal for you guys tonight what did you like about their play tonight um yeah i thought that uh you know obviously that was a really nice pass out messy to harry if i'm not mistaken and started with nathan driving the net and, and getting inside um you know I, I thought that they uh they brought some some good hunt you know on their four check um they they seem to drive a bit of play for us offensively. Um, yeah, I think there's there's positives for sure. The big fourth line of Eddie Matsushima, Jackson Weeb, and Travis Howe got a lot of ice time tonight. Could you speak a little bit about their play today? Sure. Uh, well, Howie, you know, stands out right away with, uh, you know, his, his fight in the first and, 
um, you know, I thought that, uh, you know, how he brings so much energy for us, uh, you know, on the bench and, you know, on the ice. And so we're thankful that for that. Um, thought Eddie, Eddie had a great motor all the way through as well. And Jackson uh, got on the board on the power play. So, um, yeah, they did some good. Uh, Brandon, first of all, obviously a, a very tough game. Uh, could you just kind of uh, give an overview of the game and uh, kind of what you felt like the team can improve on moving into the regular season? And then um, just maybe one or two things that you kind of liked from your guys from you guys tonight. Yeah, I think uh, I think the effort was there. You know, I think we battled all the way through uh, the full 60. I think uh, we had a couple defensive errors, um, D zone coverage, things we can fix. I believe two goals were off line changes, um, also things we can fix. I think we got uh, a, a good couple couple practices before we head back down here to Ontario and, and play them on Friday. And I mean, uh, I, I think we battled, and I think all the errors are something we can fix and go over as a team and, and get better. Obviously, um, your team has not played very much together, a lot of new faces, a new coach, especially against a team in Ontario that they've played together for quite a while. And, what have you been able to take away from training camp this past week and um, just going into the regular season? Yeah, I think just you know staying staying to myself and and playing to my game. I think uh, obviously we got a group of twenty guys who are willing to battle for each other and, and go to war every night. And obviously you love to see that. Obviously one guy in a scrum and we have all five in there. Um, I've seen it a couple times tonight and I, I love seeing that. Um, you know, we ju we just need to keep our heads up. We can't beat ourselves down and and uh, and, and you know, like uh, get down on ourselves and, and not be able to play at our best. I think that's one thing that uh, you know, last couple of years we 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 kind of did. Um, I think this year we got a we got a new group and new coach, and I think he's uh, going to keep us on track and, and all on the same page. It's just for you tonight. Uh, what did you like about your play and or? about the play of your line with Nikita and Nathan? Yeah, I mean, two great players. Um, you know, they get open for me when I have the puck, and, and I try to do the same for them. I think, uh, obviously, Nikita's a, a really skilled guy who, who can handle the puck well and, and make plays. And, you know, having Gosher who can also make plays, and, and he's, you know, he's kind of a workhorse, and, and that's good to have up the middle. You know, I think uh, we, we had our moments tonight, but we also uh, got scored on twice. So I think we got to uh, go over video, look at that stuff, and, and just get better as a group. Just one more for me. Obviously, first time a lot of this group is going to get together in an AHL game. That experience underneath the belt, where do you feel this group can take this game and learn from it before next Friday? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, we play these guys next Friday. I think the next four games, actually. So, you know, it's huge to play them and get a feel for them. You know, there's a lot of guys in our room who, who haven't played a, a pro game like that or, or with San Diego. Um, so it was good to get their feet wet a little bit and, and get that experience and, and, you know, get to know that team so, so we're prepared on Friday.